used to see Just imagine what our love could be You belong here with me My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, especially to you, Cole and Kelsey, as today your Lord will join you together as husband and wife. You can breathe a sigh of relief. And not just you, but everyone who had anything to do with putting this special day together. I know there was a lot of planning and a lot of work went into today. And then I know there was a lot of replanning and rework with everything that happened in our country over the last few weeks. But you know what? Let's just put all that behind us right now, okay? Because everything is in place and in a few minutes, the most important part of the day is going to happen. God is going to join the two of you together as one flesh. Although you will remain always two unique individuals, yet in God's eyes, you are joined together in a special bond of love that is unlike any other. And so much so that you should no more want to be separated from each other than you would want to lose a part of your own body. Kelsey received this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. Cole received this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. You always keep Jesus Christ at the center of your marriage, and you'll do fine. You do that by letting his patient, kind, forgiving, undeserved, unconditional, unending love always remain at the center of your life. And when you do that, it will help you love each other in the same way your Lord has loved you. I, Cole. I, Kelsey. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Cole. Take you, Kelsey. To be my husband. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. It is now my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Cole and Kelsey Wendell. So I really haven't known Cole a super long time like most other people here, but we, we kind of really connected when we became roommates in college. I do remember when Cole was texting Kelsey and I'd come over to hang out with Cole and he'd be on his phone. I'm like, well, who are you talking to? Oh, this girl I used to go to high school with. It's nothing yet. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> well, next thing I know, he's got a girlfriend. I'm like, well, good for you. And now we're here. Being Kelsey's older sister, I have had the privilege of knowing her her whole life. Uh, things did start out a little bit rocky. Uh, my parents love to tell the story about my dad bringing Blaine and I to the hospital to meet our new baby sister. Um, being two and a half at the time, I guess I don't remember this meeting, but evidently I had been holding Kelsey on my lap and then I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I've also known Cole for many years um, in elementary and middle school. Kelsey, Cole, the Shellum girls, Katie and Emily, and I, we'd hang out on the bus to and from school. And I guess at that time, I didn't know that Cole would be my brother-in-law someday, but, but we, all, uh, we all became good friends and we had a, um, a lot of fun on bus number 10. I am truly happy that you guys did reconnect and find each other again, and I'm looking forward to watching the two of you continue to grow in your marriage and um, I pray that God would achieve bless your lives together. Let's not waste time, oh, take this slow, we got miles behind us but miles to go, so let's just break this down to the simplest truth. You and I as one will always be better than
show your love for one another. So you look back in 20, 30 years and, and say, wow, it, uh, you know, love is a lot stronger now than it used to be. And um, do that and keep the Lord as your, as your guide and uh, uh, you'll have a very rewarding life. It's not waste time. We'll take this slow. We've got miles behind us, but miles to go. So let's just break this down to the simplest truth.